Hey everybody, uh, welcome to Storytime at Great Plains Nature Center. Uh, this is Alan, and I am here to read you On One Flower Today, Butterflies, Ticks, and a Few More Icks. It's by Anthony D. Fredericks, and uh, it's illustrated by Jennifer DeRubio. Let's find out what we can uh, find in our own backyard, you know, especially since it's, it's kind of uh, been a rainy week, and, you know, maybe you can't get out to the park or anything like that, but there's still plenty of things going on outside wherever you live. All right. So, on one flower. This is a field of grasses and trees where butterflies dance on the afternoon breeze with bug buggy critters that wiggle and creep and silk spinning spiders who jiggle and leap. This is where, on warm breezy days, a tall yellow flower bobbles and sways. Do you guys see the flower? This is the flower. Very tiny looking. Two serious boys were wandering by, observing the field in the late summer sky. I wonder who lives here, one boy did say. What could we find on this sunshiny day? The boys saw some creatures, some active, some not, all living close on this flowery spot. So they sat on the ground with eyes open wide and they peeked and they peered, and they searched and they spied. Wow, how many living things, how many creatures can you see in this picture? I see quite a few. Maybe four at least? Hmm. All right. Let's find out what they are. This is the stink bug, an animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close. Upon the tall flower, on a day warm and bright, clings a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. Where's that stink bug at? You guys find him? A long-legged spider is waiting for prey, hiding and searching for bugs the whole day. Yet he won't grab the stink bug, an animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close. Upon the tall flower, on a day warm and bright, clings a, clusters of, a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. That's very cool. It looks like a crab spider. An orange butterfly with wings, edged in black, glides to the flower and looks for a snack. Too quick for the spider waiting for prey, who's hiding and searching for bugs the whole day. Yet he won't grab the stink bug and animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close. All on a tall flower on a day warm and bright clings a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. A buzz buzzing bee is the next to arrive, where she gathers some pollen to take to her hive. And then comes a butterfly with wings that and black, who glides to the flower and looks for a snack. Too quick for the spider waiting for prey, who's hiding and searching for bugs the whole day. Yet he won't grab the stink bug, an animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close. All on a tall flower, on a day warm and bright, clings a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. It's getting pretty crowded on this flower. Lots of things coming to eat there. A wandering ladybug with spots on her back Hunts for some aphids, an unplanned attack. A buzz buzzing bee is the next to arrive, where she gathers some pollen to take to her hive, and then comes a butterfly with wings etched in black, who glides to the flower and looks for a snack. Too quick for the spider, waiting for prey, who's hiding and searching for bugs the whole day, yet he won't grab the stink bug and animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close, on a, all on a tall flower, on a day warm and bright, clings a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. I bet you see plenty of ladybugs in your backyard. Hidden and lurking with quick grabbing feet, look out, an ambush bug is ready to eat. Who's eyeing a ladybug with spots on her back, who hunts for some aphids, an unplanned attack. A buzz buzzing bee is the next to arrive, where she gathers some pollen to take to her hive. 
But then a butter and then comes a butterfly with wings edged in black, who glides to the flower and looks for a snack. Too quick for the spider, waiting for prey, who's hiding and searching for bugs the whole day. Yet he won't grab the stink bug, an animal gross, a smell smelly critter if you get too close, all in a tall flower on a day warm and bright, clings a cluster of neighbors, a startling sight. So there's the ambush bug. Watch out. Oh no. <laughs> An eight legged tick with a sensitive feel waits on the stalk for a blood sucking meal. Away from the bug with the quick grabbing feet who lurks on the flower for something to eat, who's eyeing a ladybug with spots on her back, who hunts for some aphids and unplanned attack. A buzz buzzing bee is the next to arrive where she gathers some pollen to take to her hive and then jumps a butterfly with wings etched in black who glides to the flower and looks for a snack. Too quick for the spider waiting for prey is who's hiding and searching for bugs the whole day yet he won't grab the stink bug and animal gross a smell smelly critter if you get too close all in a tall flower a day warm and bright clings a cluster of neighbors a startling sight Ooh, getting pretty crowded here yeah you want to watch out for ticks like that be careful when you're outside a medley of creatures inhabits this space the most active flower a hip-hopping place Leaves, petals, and stems, it's where animals thrive, and each does its best to compete and survive. <laughs> all right, so here's just another look at all the things that were living on that goldenrod plant. Stink bugs, spiders, butterflies, honeybees, ladybugs, ambush bugs, and ticks. A lot going on in your backyard. Uh, make sure you go check some stuff out. See what you can find out there even if it is a rainy day today. Well, thank you for joining me for story time. Um, yeah, hopefully we'll see you out here at Great Plains Nature Center. Come visit us sometime soon, okay?